Someone recently asked me, why do I homestead? It's a pretty simple question. I really like the blend of natural wilderness and this homesteading practical use the land mix that we've got going on in the middle of our looped driveway. This electric net that we put up has been an excellent layer of precaution against predators. Since we've had it up, none of the chickens in our mini cooper have been eaten by the raccoon. Let's take a quick look around and see this little patch of wilderness that I've carved out a section of for our Mini Cooper. Take a quick look at the chickens too. How are you doing in there? This is the larger of the two nurse log stumps that I've moved here into the middle of our roundabout loop driveway. I didn't shoot any video of the process of getting these things out of the ground, but I do have a couple of still pictures. I'll just describe the process that I went through. The first thing I did was to dig out from underneath them to get rid of any roots that might be holding it down from other plants. I then scraped off all the dirt and the excess uh, rotted wood away just to reduce the weight. And then I would tip them into a wheelbarrow so that I could move them around. In this case, this was so large and unwieldy the wheelbarrow wasn't going to cut it. So I had to tip it from the wheelbarrow down into that four-wheeled wagon cart that Wendy recently bought. And that was super easy to just wheel around back here and, and place it here. This big flat decimated dirt patch is where that nurse log came from. We needed to clear it out to make room for a building that we're going to put here. I'm very glad that at least I was able to salvage that good old tree stump and keep it as part of our property. The, the building that we're going to put here is going to be the permanent shelter for our girl goats. So although it it's a little painful to wipe out all the vegetation. Having animals over here really brings a new kind of energy to this space. And it's fun to have them, so definitely worthwhile in the long run. I really like the look of these deteriorating tree stumps. 
Some people may think a dead tree stump is something you should grind up and get rid of, but for something like this, I think it's just a wonderful signature wilderness kind of a piece to incorporate in the landscape. This is the other large nurse log that I moved here. It's a lot of work moving these things around, but like I said, I think it's a very worthwhile uh, addition to the, to the landscaping around here. I wanted to put this thing somewhere a bit out of the way, but also so that it relates to the, to the rest of the environment a little bit and having it right next to this other tree stump that's been deteriorating for who knows how many years seemed like a good idea. Although I didn't shoot video of moving those two heavier nurse logs, I did capture this. This nurse log was deadfall from our forest, conveniently right on the side of the road near our house. I'm moving it to the boy goat area. Striker, don't do that to me. Come here. Come here, my striker. Oh, oh my striker. Someone recently asked me. Why do I homestead? It's a pretty simple question. And I answered that I wanted to make the most of our land and that growing and raising our own food was a very healthy way to live. And that's true. But I don't think it really gets at my motivation. I want to feel more connected to this place and homesteading is a good way to do that. I've taken on different roles in life. I'm an artist. I work for the Red Cross. I'm a small business owner. These things help define me. It seems to me that becoming who we are may be the answer to that bigger question. 
What is the meaning of life? Why do I homestead? I'm learning to be who I am. This is just a quick postscript. Finding the right balance between wilderness and homestead can be a process of compromise. Wendy had some concerns about nurse logs being in here with the goats. So I've moved them just on the other side of their fence where they can still provide a nice little visual element, natural visual element, and a transition to the forest.